I'd like to welcome you back. Last time we uh, got together, we talked about planning a program for Christmas, preparing for Christmas well in advance for our nursing home visitation. Today I want to talk about beginning the Christmas season because our uh, Christmas ministry is not going to be just a single event. It's not just the youth coming, the little children doing a, a Christmas play, but we'll be having services as we do throughout the year every week. Ours are on Wednesday afternoons. Uh, we'll have communion in one of those services. And we're going to begin singing some of the Christmas songs. And I'm going to sing part of one for you now before we uh, begin our talk today. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. small boy uh, our schools back then the teachers uh, were not restricted at all from uh, sharing a little bit about what the real Christmas was like I can remember us uh, can't know if it was kindergarten or first grade but all of our class we gathered around uh, our teachers feet uh, like uh, we were little sheep around a shepherd uh, and she opened up the Bible and she read for us this Christmas story this familiar story uh, that we've heard so many times in those days Caesar Augustus uh, issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world this was a census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria and everyone went to their own town to register so Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem the town of David because he belonged to the house and line of David he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord uh, shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. And when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. And so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. As we begin this Christmas uh, celebration, this time, uh, it is almost like having a little advent calendar. And if you have those calendars at your house and you know that each day you open up a little window and, and it gives us another small truth about the Christmas season, about uh, the things that God has given. Well, we want to 
present our ministry at the nursing home a little bit like this uh, that we begin to open one by one some of the familiar stories uh, that God has uh, given us in his word uh, here reading today from the book of Luke the second chapter uh, first I wanted to talk a little bit about God sending his message just to simple people he came uh, to the shepherds to the they were lying out in the fields at night uh, watching their sheep I relate to the people these are kind of like third shift workers uh, they're out where no one else is awake uh, and there's not too much activity going on and they're doing uh, their duties their little jobs no one's paying any attention to them they aren't important people but you see in God's eyes everyone is important everyone matters every sheep in the flock has a name and the people there in our nursing homes uh, we want to express to them uh, the preciousness uh, that they have uh, to Jesus Christ and that God sent an angel uh, not to the mansions on the hilltop somewhere uh, but to the shepherds watching their flocks he didn't come to the rich and to the powerful those who have all their needs met and who are the respected members and powerful people in our communities but God came to those who were considered a little bit lower, a little bit on the outside, just like the people in our nursing homes. Those that sitting in their wheelchairs, uh, listening to the stories, they need to know that God has remembered uh, them also, that Jesus Christ hasn't uh, forgotten about their situation. I say uh, God still knows your address. Uh, he knows right where you are and that's part of what we're expressing in expressing this Christmas message through our songs, through the special events we do uh, with the youth and through the weekly uh, meetings that we hold there at the nursing home. We're reminding them, uh, people, God hasn't forgotten about you at all. In fact, God has focused uh, the story of His sending Jesus Christ to this earth to people who are just like you silent night holy night shepherds quake two more in this series of uh, beginning the Christmas celebration uh, with uh, the nursing home ministries. If you're involved in nursing home ministry in any way or you would like to be, please feel free to contact us through our email, uh, revp51 at gmail.com. Visit our YouTube account. Uh, find the resources that are available on amazon.com. We're not here to make money on uh, the ministry that we do, not at all, but to provide resources for you because there's so many people out there that have no chance of receiving not a single visit from a family member or from a friend. You may be the closest thing they have to family this year at Christmas time when, when no one comes, when there's no presence under the tree, that they feel so alone and yet God said he would name his son Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. This year, God wants to be with them, using you, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed today.